for a uh, tutorial slash lesson, whatever you want to call it, on the intro to Grave Robber um, by Petra. So here it is. What what I just played for you there was the live intro because that's all I could find at the moment. But in the studio, it's the same. They didn't change anything live. It's, you know, it's all the same. Um, same notes, same picking pattern, same chords, same everything. Um, so anyway, you're going to want to just, this is just for the intro. There's two chords in it. It's D minor and what's called C2. So uh, first of all, you're going to want to tune flat. Tune uh, tune all, everything flat, so a half step, which makes your total tuning, if you're playing a six string in, in uh, D sharp, I don't know why I said total tuning, but anyway. I am playing a seven string, which makes my tuning A sharp. But if you're playing a six string like most people do is just a you know just D sharp so you have D sharp G sharp C sharp F sharp I guess I should do this so you can hear it and then A sharp and D sharp again so it's a half step flat of standard tuning but anyway I'm assuming you probably already know that the chord the opening chord is D minor but instead of doing it like this you're going to want to do it like this. The only thing that's different is I'm sticking my ring finger on the third fret of the D string. And C2 there, instead of doing your typical C chord like this, Gonna want to do it like this, third fret of the C, third fret of the C string, yeah, third fret of the A string, second fret D string, open G string, third fret of the uh, B string. Get used to making that and then going back and forth to this because they're kind of. Yeah, if you don't, you mess up like I just did. But anyway. A good way to get used to it is keep your pinky on the B string. And that makes the switching easier because you have to move less fingers and it's, it's just easier to switch that way. So anyway, the first note is the um, F note on the third fret of the D string. And then you're going to hammer from the G string open to the second fret of the G string. So, and then you're going to go back to that D string and then hit the B and hammer on again with your pointer finger from the first, or from open to, fr to first fret and open again on the E string. So it sounds like this. So, so those that's what happens in the D in the D minor position. I guess it's D minor. I'm not sure what what you call it. Anyway, it's D minor with an F. But when you get to here, you go C2, 3rd fret A, 2nd fret D, open G, open E, and then 3rd um, fret B. This is much simpler, more straightforward, but also he doesn't stay on the chord as long. So it's easier to play than the D minor picking, but it's, it's also shorter. So anyway. Now. Um, you, 
you're going to start here. The only hammering on you're going to do, if I'm not mistaken, is on the uh, D string from open to the second fret. Okay? So what you're going to do is just go down all the strings and hit your hit your, hit all of them once except for your D string. You're going to hit that twice because you have to hammer on it. And just go hit them all once and then come back and strum again. It's as simple as that. Sorry I'm so sloppy today, but anyway, that's how it goes. to it. Hopefully that explains everything. That's just the intro. The rest of the song is normal chords. Um, so remember, tune flat. You got your goofy D minor chord, which sounds really good. Then C2. And by the way, the sounds I'm using for this are the my uh, coil split position. So on the fourth position of the switch, which splits the coils and I get that kind of stratty single coil sound which was the closest I could come to the acoustic simulator that he was using so anyway all right thanks for watching god bless <laughs>